Hello, 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 modern typers! Uh, this is Namernan once again, and we are doing another video. Another challenge video, in fact. So this time, I'll be laddering, but every single time, one of my Pokémon get knocked out, specifically my Pokémon, will be, uh, doing- I'll be doing five push-ups, and then for every Pokémon that I KO on the opposing team, I'll be doing ten sit-ups. So, yeah, this will be an entertaining ladder session, and I can't wait to see how it will go. So, without further ado, let's do this. Also, this mask is going to be to death me. <laughs> Alright, well, without further ado, let's start the laddering. Uh, this team I have is from PG Clouds. Um, someone who made the laddering uh, the first cycle around. Uh, it has Slowbro, Galar, uh, Weezing, Gengar, and Skuntang. It's well, a standard regenerator core between Toxapex and Amoongus. Uh, nothing really special to talk about, except the Slowbro's specs with Regenerator to act as a really strong wall breaker to switch out and constantly get healing. Um, paired with the Regenerator Core and a couple of other, these other really good Pokemon, you have a pretty solid team all around. So, without further ado, let's get into some matches. Poison as a type isn't like super good, but I think this team might be able to get me a few wins on low ladder. So let's see how it goes. Alright, first matchup we get is versus Fairy. This isn't as even as you would think because due to the fact that Hatterin can potentially have Trick Room, uh, this can be a very, very hard matchup. So without further ado, let's get into this match. Uh, I think the first Pokemon we want to lead with should be something that uh, uh, something that beats Rhydombi. Or something that threatens Rhydombi out. I think I might go, uh, might go Weezing just to force it out. Alright, we do see the Grimmsnarl come out. Alright, so I get tricked and lose my balloon, which is not necessarily the best. Alright, and he's a weird set too. This is going to be a really strange game. Alright, no problem. I don't really care about that too much. Uh, I am taunted still. That isn't a big deal, because uh, should still be fine. Uh, I get paralyzed. Okay, but he does lose his grim style, so you know what that means. I gotta do 10 push-ups, um, 10 sit-ups, excuse me, so I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, hopefully you guys can see this. And sit-ups have been completed. Um, let's see. Oh god, <laughs> my bomb is in. Uh, don't know what to do here, but I'll just fix sludge bomb. See how it goes. Uh, fortunately, we do get the uh, kill. Uh, he's okay. I'm not speaking properly. Uh, this thing is screams. So I think I might be able to have an advantage here. Also, Gengar kind of goes crazy, so there's that too. I think I'll go Skunk Tank. Yeah, this will be fine. We'll be fine. Unless he gets the crit, then we're not fine. Alright, we get the protect off. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to wear this thing down slowly. So we're gonna switch between Amoongus and Toxic so as the Toxic Chip takes place.
All right. So he right after his right bomb base. And prevent Toxic from getting paralyzed, which could have been really bad. All right, we do see the uh, slur buff come out, which is not good. Uh. Actually, this might be good against it. Alright, let's see how this gets us. Alright, he had facade, so... Yeah, not good. Uh, I'm not sure what else to expect from this guy, honestly. I think I'm just gonna have to try my best to wear him down with the toxic spikes. Uh, I think he gets walled. Yeah, I think he gets walled. At least that's what it's looking like right now. Oh wait, did I forget to do, uh, hang on a second. Uh, so I think I KO'd his right bombie. So I have to do, uh, 10 setups real quick, so. And then I have to do, I have to do five push-ups for, uh, the weaving. So yeah. Let's go. Let's get back into the game. <sighs> Alright, uh, let's put in the Moongus. Alright, our Moongus dies, which is not good. I think I'm gonna put in Slowbro. Fortunately, he puts out uh, his Mimikyu, which is not what I wanted. We're going to switch out Slowbro, so we can keep it alive for Hatterin. Uh, we're going to try and hate the Mimikyu here. Uh, he does have Will-O-Wisp for whatever reason. Don't know what that's supposed to do, but... It's a move he has, I guess. Oh wait, did I? Oh, I'm so bad with this challenge. Uh, let me go do five push-ups real quick, and also that sucks. We're back again. We're back. Alright, uh, maybe Q should die this turn. Damn it. Alright, we are gonna see the, uh, Hatterin come out this turn, which is not good. It does use Dazzling Gleam against the Poison Team for whatever reason, which is not good either. Alright, so we're going to have to put out a... 
side of the place here to wall the uh, concrete. And he does end up quitting. Alright, that's a... That was a heated first match, not gonna lie. If his Hatterad was a trick room or something, I think I would have lost. But, uh, thankfully he wasn't. And that T-spike that we got up with Weasley really, really helped because he didn't have hazard removal. He was relying on Hatterin to get rid of all of his hazards, so yeah. I think that was definitely very good. Very, very good. But, yeah, let's move on to the next match. This seems actually not, not that bad. It's kind of fun, actually. Switching between the uh, regen gore and stuff. But we do get water next, and water's going to be a bit tough. Especially with that, uh, Inteleon guy, so, uh, can't wait to see how this is gonna go. Uh, I think we should start with, uh, Slowbro. As he does start with Polycode, uh, I think we're gonna go Sludge Wave first move. Oh, that would have been devastating. I'm assuming this is a Parish Trapper set. Oh! Wait, I didn't even know it got uh, Earth Power. Also, how did that miss? Wait, huh? Oh, there's only one possible way they could have missed. It has to be Bright Powder. I didn't think I'd actually see Bright Powder. And he quit. Uh... I didn't kill a single Bond, and I won. Really happy about that! <laughs> but yeah, I guess we'll be doing a little bit more. So, we'll do a few more matches. Alright, uh, let's do, uh... Another match? Uh, I'm not sure who this is, but, uh... Fellow MLT users, so we're just gonna wish him good luck. I can barely see the keyboard still now. But yeah, um, we'll wish him good luck. Send out a moon his first thing. Uh, I'm thinking they're gonna trick you. So I'm gonna go straight into Gengar. That was not what I thought he was gonna do at all. Oh well. Uh, my fast uh, revenge killer is actually dead now. And that's not good because I needed him for Dragovish. So uh, that was kind of a bad play. On my part at least. Uh, I think we'll just use Sludge Wave. We do get stopped by the Paralysis though, so that's incredibly annoying. Uh, just send out Top Specs, see what we can do. As he does Volt Switch, possibly into Dracovich. Send out Azumarill instead. Uh, I'm not sure what Azumarill is going to do, so I'll send out Slowbro. Yeah, I thought that's what he was going to do. Um, send out Slowbro, hopefully Oko him with Sludge Wave. It's going to chip us down a lot, but it won't matter because we can switch out and get Regenerator health back, so... Yeah, let's just hope. Uh, he does send out Lantern, though. Lantern should die. Yeah, that's the best part about Slowbro is that because of Regenerator, we can just use it again and again. Uh, I think we'll send out Pex this time. Alright, don't really care about getting burned. We're just going to knock off an item. Any item getting knocked off is actually really good in this matchup, so we do knock off the Sludge from him. No burns through. Uh, I think we'll send out Slowbro, start pressuring him. Alright, we're gonna switch out. Do a double, back into Pex. See what he does. Alright, he sends out Lantern. I don't think we have to use Lantern, but I'm still gonna click a knockoff. Just in case you get an offensive mom. Uh, no, he sent out Toxic Pex again. Uh, we'll send out Slowbro hard.
Alright, we're gonna sidetrack now. This this little girl's easy to at the top at three top attacks anyway, so yeah. Alright. Burn? Okay. You've gotten extremely lucky and haven't gotten burned once. Uh this side talk should do a lot to zoom now. He does stand recovery. Um, hopefully this uh, side shot kills. Because if it doesn't kill, uh, we are going to take a lot of shift damage and I don't want to take that. Uh, we'll switch out. Trying to take less damage. Moon just comes in. Let's see who he puts out. Puts out the Pex again. Alright, I'll put out Slowbro. He puts out Azumaro. Um, I'll click Sludge Wave on his Whirlpool. Or potential Whirlpool. Alright, Whirlpool, I mean the uh, Sludge Wave kills. Which means I have to do uh, 10 push ups. So. I think it's 10 sit-ups, right? Yeah, I think it's 10 sit-ups I have to do, so, uh... Alright. Also, he quit for some reason. Not sure why he quit. Considering his uh, Dracovich definitely did quite a number to my Lungus and uh, Pex. With a Psychic Pain, then I had to play mind games. But, hey. A win is a win. I think we'll do two more matches, and then we'll finish the video. So, let's go. Alright. Uh, we got Electric. Electric might be a bit tough. Mainly because of Raichu, and how challenging it is to beat that thing, so... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'll send out Slowbro. Uh, Sludge Wave, definitely. Alright, he T-waves my Slowbro. Which is not the best, obviously. Uh, he does get the para, which is really annoying. He gets the thunder, which does a crap ton of damage, oh my goodness. We're probably going to see the pink urchin come out. And start wreaking havoc on my team. Either that, or we're going to see Dracos Okay, we see Rotom coming out. Which is just as bad. Uh, we're gonna send out the scum tank. It's probably not a good idea. Alright, he takes the black sludge, so we're gonna defog here. Alright, the defog will connect. And now we're gonna send out Amoongus. Amoongus shouldn't take too much damage from over here. We're gonna double into Pex now. Alright, we do get the lower, so we're gonna do a knockoff now. Actually, knockoff is not smart because we want him to get chipped, so we'll just quick stall him. Uh, he is water absorbed on his lantern for whatever reason. Uh, his lantern should have speed of the bolt switch, so we get to knock off whoever comes in next. And it'll be Rotom. Wow, good play by him. Um, but yeah, we do see uh, Rotom come back in. And, uh... 
You know, I'll take the discard. Okay, he actually clicked overheat, expecting the uh, expecting a moon just to come back out, which was a good assumption on his part. But unfortunately, oh, I have to do 20 uh, setups real quick. So let me go do that real quick. I think you can see. Alright, we get the 20, and now we're going to go into the movies. Alright. Uh... Alright, I think we're going to click the slot on here. We do get the substitute read. Sorry if I sound out of breath, by the way very out of shape due to quarantine, you know? So, yeah, do that. Uh, I guess I'll send out Weezer. Uh, no, I should do Toxic Spikes. Yeah, that T-Spike is going to be real important now. Alright, uh, Zack Weasley, uh, got a couple kills with Gekar. Alright, Drake's ult's down now. And now it's Pink Kirshen's time to shine. Or Lantern, I guess that works too. I don't mind Lantern coming in. We can still deal with it pretty fine. What we're really worried about is Pink Curtain so that Raichu can sweep. But we do get the quick. I also do have to owe you guys uh, 10, 10 setups and 5 push ups. So we'll get to do that real quick. Alright, so 10 setups. Alright, we do see the pink character come back in. Alright, um... Alright, pink Hershen comes in. Probably gonna do a number on my Pokemon, which is unfortunate for me. Alright, uh, I'm gonna see him kill the, uh, Slowbro. I'm gonna try and bait him the, uh, Psychic. Alright, we get the Psychic read. We're gonna waste the turn by clicking Protect. And then we're gonna switch back into Moongus. Because I think Gengar does enough work. But, uh, just in case, we'll go Toxapex.
Alright, yeah, I think this is the play. So we're gonna protect again, and then sack Scum Tank. Actually, we'll just go into the moon just now, I guess. And we do kill the Raichu. Nice. So, thankfully, we have played the Raichu. I also owe you guys... Okay, so... I forget what happened. Uh, so, we lost two Pokemon. And I think I killed... Like, three? Hang on, let me go back real quick. I think I skipped on... Yeah, I think I did the stuff on this turn. So... We killed Kimperchu and Raichu, and we lost Tatsupex and uh, Slowbro, so... I'll do those, and then I think we'll end the video there. So... Grand Finale. Um, so we have 20 sit-ups and 10 push-ups. Let's go. Hope you guys can see. Alright, so that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little challenge. I'll be doing more of these as I MLP ladder. Leave some suggestions in the comments below. My name has been Nammernam, and I hope you enjoyed this video.